And at Fox 17 Health Alert, a recent analysis found people who survived COVID-19 to be more likely to develop a condition that often happens after people travel. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly explains what you need to know before you go on your next trip. Those findings link a previous COVID infection to an increased risk for a person to develop a blood clot in their lungs. Doctors say that often happens when someone sits for a while, like when in a car or on a plane. With summer trips back on many families' calendars, after a two-year pause caused by the coronavirus pandemic, doctors hope they plan for a few extra stops. It can be a life-threatening condition, right? You cannot predict how big of a clot you can get. Malik Khan, a pulmonary with Spectrum Health explains when people travel during lengthy plane or car trips, they often sit in cramped positions that slow blood flow to their legs and contributes to the formation of clots, which often break up and travel to a person's lungs, forming a pulmonary embolism. Depending on uh, how acute it is, usually most of these cases are dealt in an ER setting rather than even in an outpatient setting because you need to run some tests, you need to get a CAT scan to actually diagnose it, and then you need to start on medications. Khan says in healthy people, it's usually not something to worry about, but a study from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention this past May found COVID-19 survivors, even those with a mild case, had twice the risk of developing the condition in the year after the infection compared to patients who never caught the virus. Out of the 26 conditions that they saw, this one was the one seen most frequently. Mm -hmm. So that is a big deal, and it also correlates with clinical practices. The analysis says more research needs to be done to better understand why, although other research suggests this too. It looked at 353,000 COVID-19 patients from across the country. Symptoms of a pulmonary embolism include shortness of breath, chest pain, and leg swelling. Khan adds a bit of activity helps too. Say every hour or so, if just in sitting in your car, just lift your heels up a few times, five, ten times, move your legs. That's it. You don't have to do much more. And then every couple of hours or so, just take a little break, a couple of minutes of walk around. Simple steps that can prevent a detour to hospitals and lifelong medication. The longer your travel time is, the in risk is increased. And if you would like to read that full study, you can do so right now at fox17online.com. I'm reporting in the studio, Maurice Oberly, Fox 17 News.